Hey everybody, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about what makes the iPhone 10 unique, what sets it apart from all other phones on the market. So let's get started. So first of all is of course that display. Um, there's really no other phone to use the display technology of the iPhone 10, so it's really the only phone where the screen actually touches all four corners of the device. There's usually either a bottom bezel or a top bezel or both um, because there has to be an area for the display controller to be housed. So with the iPhone 10, the screen actually wraps around itself. I don't know how that works, but it's pretty remarkable technology. So yeah, the display controller is underneath, so it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that screen, and it looks absolutely fantastic. The thing I love is that Samsung actually manufactures this display, and it's still better than the screens on all their phones. So, I mean, I get that Apple kind of adjusted this display to make it to their standards, of course. Um, but it's still better than all Samsung phones, and even with their new Galaxy S9, it doesn't use this technology. Um, it still has a top and bottom bezel, so even though they've made this display, they haven't implemented it in any of their phones yet, this technology. So that's pretty interesting. And then another thing about this screen is that it has True Tone technology, so um, you probably won't be able to see it, but... Basically, it adjusts the temperature of the screen to the environment that you're in, and really no other phone has has this feature. Um, they have it on the iPhone 8, of course, and some iPads, but yeah, there's no other really device with this technology either, so the display is number one. Now, the second feature that makes the iPhone 10 unique is the Face ID and just the face tracking in general. So, of course, there's lots of other phones that have face unlock, but the iPhone X is a lot different. So on most phones with a face unlock, they can be fooled pretty easily with just like a picture of the person's face, or they can even like go in when you're sleeping and unlock the phone. But with the iPhone X, it's made it a lot more advanced. So there's a one in a million chance that a random person will be able to unlock your phone with their face. And that's probably with just like ident identical twins. That's the one flaw with um, Face ID is that, of course, it's not going to work with identical twins. Um, they'll be able to get into your phone. So, but yeah. Other than that, um, it uses a 3D modeling technology, and what it does is pretty remarkable. I'll see if I can put a video in um, filmed with like an infrared camera, so you can see what's actually happening. Um, without you being able to see it. So it actually like projects of like thousands of dots onto your face and scans it. It's pretty, I'll put, just put the video in so you can see it. You can point a cheap camcorder with night vision at Face ID to see it working. And it's pretty awesome when you do. The iPhone 10 has an IR light, a dot projector, and an IR camera all tucked into that notch at the top. But yeah, Face ID um, is really good. It's not gonna be easily fooled and it's just more advanced, more secure, and it will even work in the dark, it will work if you're wearing sunglasses, so yeah, it's really just the best face unlock system on any phone. And then going off of that, the face tracking on this thing as well, so like with um, things like Animojis, I mean, this feature really isn't on any other phones either, but you can see it. Um, the face tracking is pretty remarkable. I mean, it gets every single movement you make, and you can even wink. The only thing it can't do is stick your tongue out, so... That doesn't really work, but maybe they will add that in the future. But yeah, this technology is pretty incredible, too. Um, we haven't really seen this before, and it just works, you know? And even with things like Snapchat, Snapchat is better on the iPhone 10 with these face filters, of course, because it can track your face a lot more accurately, and it just looks better overall. It looks more natural, like, if we go to the, like, for some of these, like, the ears and the nose are more accurately placed on your face. 
um, than it would be on other phones. So yeah, the face ID and face tracking is number two. Now number three is the fact that this device does not actually have a home button. Now pretty much every single phone has either a physical home button or an on-screen home button, but the iPhone 10 has neither because of course Apple's not going to make an on-screen home button. So it uses gestures to navigate the device, which is really unique. Um, you swipe up to go home, you swipe up and hold for your multitasking. And another cool thing you can do is you can swipe along the bottom to switch between your apps. So that is a pretty cool feature here. Um, we haven't really seen anything like this before. Um, but yeah, it just feels really fluid and natural, the gestures that you use. and really is the only phone without a home button and it works incredibly well actually um, I don't even remember what it was like using a home button honestly so no home button the gesture user interface is number three now number four is 3d touch now of course we've had this on iPhone since the iPhone 6s um, but still no phone has used this technology to this day actually so the pressure sensitive display and the things you can do with 3D touch is just really unmatched by anyone really. So if we go here, 3D touch, the peak and pop gestures that you can use, the different sensitivities, it really is just unique to not just the iPhone 10 but uh, many other iPhones and it's a unique feature that we haven't seen on any other smartphone. So 3D Touch is number four. Now finally is the camera and specifically with the portrait mode. So of course there's lots of phones with portrait mode but the iPhone 10 has these portrait lighting effects and this is also available on the iPhone 8 Plus um, but no phone has really done this before with all these different effects that you can do for your portrait shots. So here's an example of a photo I took with the stage light. You can see it darkens the background and it's a really dramatic effect and we've not seen this on any other smartphone, the portrait lighting effects. Now you can also take portrait modes with the front facing camera, which is pretty cool. The only other phone that could do this is the Google Pixel 2. Um, so that's not really a unique feature, but you do still get these portrait lighting effects on there. So number five is the portrait lighting effects on your camera. So those are just five of the many features that makes the iPhone 10 unique. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description box and thanks for watching. Peace.